Hi everyone, this is Elena Kraus and welcome to another card video. In this video I will show you how to quickly do a uh, ombre ink blended background using blending brushes and a couple dye ink pads. So here is a quick look of the finished cards. I won't be coloring the die cut. In this video I will just create the ink blended background. So I have a piece of white cardstock. I have three ink colors. I have Antiqua, I have a Tight Pool and Soft Pool. I'm starting with the darkest one. I'm using a Life Changing Ink Blended Blending Brush. And um, it goes very quickly with these brushes and create, creates very soft edge. So create it, think of that uh, blended uh, kind of ombre ba background is very easy and pretty effortless. So I'm just applying the inks and overlapping them, making sure that I go back so the transition between colors is seamless. So the second color I did was um, tight pull and next I'm going with the last lightest one, soft pull and applying that you can, uh, I usually do uh, mostly circular motions so I'm just checking to see how that looks uh, with my die cut. And the die cut, um, I'll show you in a little bit. It's part of the main, my monthly hero kit. So here I'm going back again with the darkest color, Antiqua, and repeating that process to get more saturated color. So I, I like how it looks. So I decided to just let it go instead of working it more. Next I decided to stamp this little heart using the Hero Arts Unicorn ink and then color it with pencils. So that's the die, comes with the main kit. As well, uh, the black paper that I have here is actually not black cardstock, it's Canson Mitientes uh, pastel paper and uh, the colored pencils just popped out, uh, pop out when you color on it. So. I die cut the frame and then I just colored it in to give it more kind of life to bring that die cut, black die cut to life. Next I'm trimming um, up that uh, panel, just a little itty bitty uh, smaller than my uh, frame. And uh, I colored the heart with the Prismacolor markers on top of the white ink. I l first before I went color to color it in, I let it dry and then colored it in. I'm adhering now um, the frame to the uh, ink blended background and just trying to see which sentiment will fit best there and just adding more uh, adhesive on the little parts of that die cut that were not really adhered. So I'm putting um, my card panel back into my Misty and adding more adhesive. I'm going to stamp the sentiment in the middle of that window. I'm trying to position to make sure that it's right. I'm adding the uh, black ink and stamping it onto my panel. Next I will use some fun foam to uh, adhere uh, the panel onto a pool note card. So I'm just adding that fun foam and next I'll be using my Misty. I'll put the panel in the corner making sure that everything is aligned this way so that's why I'm using the Misty, making sure that everything is kind of on a straight line and it's not crooked. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit my blog for more inspiration and ideas. As well, don't forget to subscribe to the blog as well for my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by today and see you in another video. Bye!